Good morning, everybody. So today is the first day of the Minnesota United trials. It's, you know, I'm very grateful for this opportunity. Um, I know a lot of players out there don't get the opportunity to trial with MLS teams or even any teams at all. And I came here to Minnesota from Texas. In total, without the trial, I've paid around $500 alone just to get here, get a hotel, get a car. That's a lot of money. And a lot of people aren't fortunate enough to have that. A lot of my family helped me with a lot of the, the funds. And here am I today taking full advantage of this opportunity. And I know it, no matter what happens, I'm so grateful to the most high for allowing me to come here to get this experience and more wisdom in the game. And um, so today's the first day and I'm gonna get straight into it. How it looks like outside right now, it, it just slowed the snow. It just built up right now on my window. And um, I guess out here in these states, they shovel it out. They shovel all the snow in the morning. I don't know how it feels outside. It says it's 15 degrees. Just dressed super warm. I'm ready to tackle the day. And they have free breakfast downstairs, but I know a lot of their breakfast is gonna be heavy. So last night I went to Walmart and I, and I bought my own breakfast. I just wanted to be berries and fruits for this morning, just have a light stomach and understand how the trials are gonna be before I start eating food. This is what I'm gonna be having for breakfast. I might have like two bananas, some strawberries, and then some blackberries. Uh, I know uh, berries give a lot of energy and a lot of people don't know that, but whenever you eat berries for breakfast and fruit, I know you can eat fruit, but you need berries for the energy a lot of berries give a lot of energy and it's a good way to pack a punch in your breakfast usually if i have oatmeal i'd add the berries into it but as of right now i don't have oatmeal so i'm just trying to eat light i'm gonna eat this and then uh, i'm gonna head straight to the dome look at the snow right now it feels so weird being out here in the snow like this i gotta lock my car look at this it's so cold. People be catfishing in Christmas movies. This is way too cold. So for the first day, we just finished the first session um, and there was three different groups for the the, I've, I've, the first group, I believe it was the younger guys. Um, they look really young. So I guess they grouped them all together. And then the next three groups were us, the older guys. There was two fields. So three groups per field at a time. We were playing seven V sevens and you know, one team will play versus two teams and then they'll come off and then the other player team plays two teams and then they come off. So we're just switching one color goes off, one color goes in. And then uh, we played, I believe four matches, seven V sevens, and now we're heading home. And then uh, right now it's approximately 11 a.m. And then we're gonna go home and then they told us, my team reports back at 225. Well, that's when the game starts. So we have to get there before 225. And I think it's full field this time. So yeah, outside right now looks crazy. Look how crazy it is. Like everything is iced. My rental car is iced stuck. Look at this car. It's crazy. All right, let me go eat, get something to eat. Now that I'm back at the apartment, I just had my meal. Um, I know some players were gonna go get food, but we only have like two hours of break and I know how my body is. So I couldn't eat a lot. So what I did, <coughs> I was drinking some Gatorade for electrolytes. I'm, I'm eating bananas again. And then I have my bread. Um, what I do, I eat bread with peanuts with uh, with a banana. Then I have some berries. I feel full, straight carbs, uh, because I'm burning a lot as we play. And I didn't want anything heavy like meat, because meat takes a while for it to digest. And we're just getting right back on the pitch to play a 45 minute half. So now that I, I'm just gonna finish this and I'm gonna drive straight back and start warming up for the next game for today. 
So this is the fit for today, uh, the second part of training. Um, I think this is the only day where we're gonna have two sessions. And then tomorrow we're gonna have one session and on Friday, one final session. And they said that they, they, we already got our teams, uh, but for Friday, they're gonna put us in certain teams. So I think they're probably gonna circle down to people they wanna see together and see how they play and then we'll move forward from there. So that's what we're gonna do. And let's head back to the facility. I'm not stepping on ice, I learned my lesson. We finished the second session here at the dome once again. It's freezing outside, but in there it's good. So um, in the match, I was planning to play center back with the other guy, but we had an additional player who got added to our team, but he doesn't speak English. And um, so he just stayed at the center back. So I was like, okay, you know, you can play center back. And then I moved to the right back spot. Uh, there's some of their academy players that are already here um, that are trying out as well. And uh, I'm pretty sure the, the team already selected already a few players that already they're gonna sign because um, for certain positions, you can see quality styles. And I'm, I'm guessing they already have players. They already pre-signed. So there was only a few Academy kids that were here. I think there was like eight of them or nine. And um, they're all spread out. I asked the Academy guys how they play. Hearing it from them, I know what exactly what I need to do um, for tomorrow. I got to get with the program or get out of the program. So I'm going to try to copy their play of style as much as possible and tonight I'm gonna look at some YouTube videos to try to get ahead and just get a visual of how this team likes to play and go from there and the next two days I'm gonna to try to replicate that to the best of my abilities or even better if I can and pray for good results everything's in the most highest hands and we'll keep moving forward all right so we just finished day two uh, this is David Cromer and he was on the opposing team and um, he was telling me that he literally saw one of my videos this morning. <laughs> so I was like, hey, you know what? Let's get your input on today's session. So we're gonna let him talk about what happened today. But let us know, what did you think about today's session? We had uh, two 35 minute halves. What did you think of it? Um, today's session was pretty good. Um, I felt the, the level um, increased day by day, but you know, you still have individual people who are trying to showcase themselves instead of playing as a team. And they feel to know that if you play as a team, everyone's gonna get seen. But there are a lot of individual like players here that are doing like their own thing and they're not really trying to fit in the system that we all agreed to play. But none other than that, um, the competition level here is great. Um, great group of guys, but I feel like it could be better if everyone just play as one and we will all get seen. As of right now, everybody already left the stadium. All the coaches left. The players already went home. And now we're just stretching. It's just me and Daniel over there. He actually, yeah, he's from down here. And um, I was just asking him about Minnesota and he gave some good news. He said the soccer is pretty good. Um, apparently white girls love black guys down here. Not that I care, but <laughs> I'll ask him right now what he thought of the um, today's, the second day. We played another uh, 35 versus 35. So we're gonna get his input on what he thinks. And he said he knew some of the players down here. So let's, let's hear from All him. Right. Introduce yourself and let us know what you thought about today's session. All right, my name is Daniel De Leon, and uh, no, yeah, overall today and uh, tomorrow uh, in the scrimmage it was pretty fun. It was it was it was uh, a good experience, and uh, I definitely think the teams, because this guy was on my team as well. I definitely think the teams were a little unbalanced. <laughs> I think you can agree as well. I mean, uh, overall our, our our defensive and our our midfield area was was. Uh, was dominant but when we got to the attack it was just you know kind of going up or downhill and then we, we started getting a lot of counter attacks and, and or getting counter attacked and there was just a lot of running but uh but yeah i mean i think we we definitely dominated them on our defensive and midfield uh possession and it was just um very good playing two teams tomorrow we're gonna play another team in the morning and uh we'll see how we can uh match up against those guys fix what we what we, we got to fix today 
and uh, you know, always, always, always learn, always uh, make ourselves look better for uh, the coaches on the outside and, and have mm -hmm. fun. Uh, I played in, in Denmark and Costa Rica and, and everybody. Soccer visa? Huh? You went to soccer visa? No, I, I, I signed a contract there. Oh, my boys, okay. <laughs> I, I signed a, a, a two year contract there for uh, the first division with San Carlos, AD San Carlos. Oh, nice. And, and now um, in the Faroe Islands, and my flight's actually in three days. <laughs> oh, to go back. Yeah, yeah. So right now I'm just going to go home and, and probably take a nice bath and just get ready for tomorrow. Nice. Of course. So today's the last day of the combine. It's Friday morning. Our game is my, my team's game is at 830. So now I'm just going to head over there. My car is completely frozen. Look. This is crazy. Um, I guess I'm going to have to heat up the car. Good thing I came out here early. I'm going to heat it up for a little bit. And then we get it going and make sure we capitalize on the last day, make it worth our stay. And then we'll be back on the plane to go back to Houston. Crazy, I'm in the car and like I can feel my nostrils icing up, which is so crazy. How do people live up here? It's crazy. And if they sign me, you know, I'm gonna have to get used to this real quick. <laughs> Last day. Got my Kato. We just finished the last day of the trials. The head coach said he's gonna give us, he's gonna stay in contact. And in the next few days, we don't know how long it's gonna take until they start messaging us and then they will. This is now indeed. Yeah. <laughs> this guy right here, TJ, was the other center back that was playing with me. You know? <laughs> We're surviving out there. I'm gonna lie, the last game, our team got um, spanked, but it's okay. As long as you. <laughs> only, yeah, second half, we got destroyed. All oh, day, you might just make me go crazy. Thinking about you like all day, I'm gonna need you like always. How to get